Hello and welcome to your hymn introduction for Sunday, March 21st, the fifth Sunday in Lent. Our hymns are found in the Red Evangelical Lutheran Worship Hymnal or online in our church bulletin, which should be posted at gracepa.org by about the middle of the week. Having now produced these videos for a full year, two of the three hymns we'll sing this week are hymns that we've sung once already since this video series began. I hope you find that as the years pass and songs are repeated again and again, you will come to regard them as trusty friends. I know I do. Our first hymn is number 328, Restore in Us, O God. This is a short, sweet hymn composed in the 1980s. In just a few words, it hits all of the many themes of Lent, restoration and renewal, the unchanging love of God, springtime, the power and significance of baptism, and new life rising in the face of death. Sometimes it doesn't take long to say all that needs to be said. Hymn number 328. Our hymn of the day is another short one, number 330, Seed That in Earth is Dying. This is a contemporary hymn from Norway, simple yet beautiful. I remember being moved to tears the first time I heard it at a church musicians conference back in 2005. The text is based on Jesus' teaching in John 12, which will be our gospel this week. Unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. The song goes on to compare the dying and rising of the seed to the dying and rising we all pass through in holy baptism. Hymn number 330. Bye. 
baptized in Jesus into his death and grave to resurrection's promise praise and eternal life heaven's own praises begin here where you yourself are near us deep in our night and death see that in earth is dying rises to bear much fruit christ as we meet at your table give us the bread of life lord we do thank and adore you unceasing praise of the ages rises from night and death. Finally, in a great big book of hymns, some hymn has to be number 666. The editors of our hymnal chose the wondrous, what wondrous love is this? My great mentor, Dr. Paul Westermeyer, who wrote a great big book that talks all about the hymns, wrote all that we need to say about it. This is an anonymous 19th century American hymn that basks in God's grace and sings on and on about it. Let's sing on and on, my friends. Number 666.
I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.